Hey YouTube, it's Alicia Burton. I haven't too long, just got back home. But I wanted to come and do a video. I do videos like this every year. And so, um, a lot of y'all on my Facebook love to ask me where I get my purses from, where I get my designer purses from, where I get some of my purses and everything. Um... Because, yeah, I do carry, I do have several Michael Kors purses. But, I'm not going to tell you where to get it from, but I can just give you some insight of stores where you can go and get the Michael Kors purses from Michael Kors to Coach purses. Because it's a good, some good places. Um, Dooney and Bark purses. Um, I'm going to give you an insight of how to um purchase your purses and when to purchase your purses so let's get straight away quick before i um head to my mother's house um but yeah so without further ado let's get started so a place that i love i will say on the first and foremost when i buy purses i always check the clearance section that is a major plus let me to tell you a major plus to look at the clearance section. That is one because when you look at the clearance section, you'd be surprised a 200 of uh, let's say a, a purse that's been on that floor for about six to seven to eight to nine months, probably 12 months. That will probably be half the price. The highest I have ever paid for a purse on clearance was probably about $252. That's that. All of my other ones has been good, brought has been good bargains. All right. My this past purse, I paid about like 200 was the high, I think was the highest purse I ever um, purchased was about $252. All right. Let me tell you this. And I'm, um, I'm going to tell you this. Some good places to check is um, store out. Um, check out um, the actual brand outlet. Um, I don't think Beauty and Dark, excuse me, Beauty and Burke. Beauty and Burke. I have one of those. I have an old purse, but it's a small one. Beauty and Burke. I don't think they have a outlet store. But I know you can find out, but it's easy to find Michael Kors purses and um, Michael Kors and Coach because they have a they have a store. Now, another brand is Louis Vuitton. I do have a authentic, let me just say, a authentic Louis Vuitton purse. If you want to see my one authentic Louis Vuitton purse, a lot of things has um, happened to it. It's pretty old um um my charm i have to um reorder the charm for it but yeah but it is a authentic louis vuitton purse i can't think of the name of the purse but it is my sister um brought it for me when last time she was when she went to new york a couple of years ago from the store for some reason the store didn't have boxes I don't know, something, anybody knows where I can find a Louis Vuitton box or a Michael Kors box, please leave a comment below. Now, another, the places that I know sell, um, um, Dooney and Burke, from Dooney and Burke, Dooney and Burke, and Michael Kors, Dooney and Burke, Michael Kors, and um, Coach, I can tell y'all, um, Dillard's is a good place, and Belk's. Check, like, stores, big stores like that. And then, so recently, if y'all ever, if y'all have a go to TJ Mac, you, you can occasionally catch some older versions of the Michael Kors purse. Michael Kors purses. So yeah, that's uh that's a good one to check out. 
recently. So, yeah. Now, one of the things I will say when you are buying designer purses, um, think of the color and how long can you get away with carrying the purse. So, let me just tell you. I have about, let's see. I have some dark colored um, purses and I have some lighter colors. So let me start with my bright and lighter colors. So my brightest color purse that I do have from Michael Kors is a pink one. It's not that big, but it's pink. It's like a bright pink. And I don't hardly, I don't carry it for long. I can carry it for about two to three weeks and that's it. And I just, I just think that's, that's all it should be. Now, I have another purse. It's a little on the lighter side. It is sort of like a caramel brown. And it has this um, white streak in the middle with a black line in it. Now, that was my very first purse. I might, um, if you want me to, um, maybe later next week, I, um, not next week. The next week. I got a lot of stuff next week going down. But um, I will do a video. I'll show you my first purse if you want me to. So, please thumbs up this video. Now, I could actually say... I can actually tell you the sale tax of when you buy designer purses are a little more. Um, I think it's like, instead of the 7%, I think it's... 9% or 10% tax. Now, if you got a coupon, if you got like a coupon that you can get something off of it, um, use it. But always when you get a coupon, check and see, can you use it on designer purses or designer items in general? And things. But like I said, look at the clearance section. You don't always have to put pay full price so sometimes clearance has good deals and everything and like sometimes when you see something in the clearance section please go on and get it then because next time you come go there it might not be there okay y'all that's all i have but if i can give you one thing um make sure you know what kind of style you're looking for with your designer purse because i just think designer purse design excuse me designer purse purse purses is a purchase luxury i mean if you can get it get it if you can't hold off on it but i just say oh and um th that's just how i feel about purses if you enjoy me giving you tips join me giving you tips on how i shop for things and my tips on how to buy things yes now I'm gonna let me let me go on and get to the good time. The good times of the year to purchase purses. Okay, the two play two when it comes to quarter towards the end of the year, I'll say October December is the better is the okay October December will be a good like closer to the end of the year is October and December is a good time to purchase the. ALK purses. Now, if you don't know what the ALK purse, that's the Michael Kors printed, printed purse that has the MKs on it. Those are the good. So, MK purses go on sale during December. Now, sometimes they'll go on sale during October. They still be a little pricey. Be they have like let's say it was like three hundred and some dollars. They would probably reduce it to two hundred. Now, that's a five hundred dollar purse. It's like occasionally you have to catch it. So, like I said, um, October and December is a good time to uh, catch purses. Now, going out of season purses, the good time to um, check sales for that, because I know this for its personal experience, is approximately around January. So, give you a good time frame to pay off the purse. All right. The next thing is the the next time a good time frame on good time is to check 
for purses. So let me tell you, when it's like, think about the time when it's time for school to get out, when it's time for school to get out, and when time for school to get out for the summer, and graduations, high school, high school, from time to school get out, high school graduation, college graduation, those around the time you need to start purchasing some good, some MK purses um, and stuff because sometimes they have a good sale on them. Now, the best thing I have, I can give you that I have ever always gave the advice to my sister. My sister loves MK as well. And she has always followed my, my advice of when it comes to Michael Kors. Now, when it comes to the wallets, I will say you might want to check about between um, spring, from the, the beginning of spring to the, er, the beginning of spring, the beginning of spring, so that's all of April, all of May, all of June, in the first two weeks of July, because those are the good times to check on their wallets and keychains. But I hope this video is very helpful for all y'all who wants to buy your first MK purse. Until then, I'm Alicia Burton. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.